start off with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the Japanese Prime Minister is visiting India and the home state of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi of Gujarat, where later today, Mr. Abe will be laying the foundation for India's first Shinkansen or bullet train. The high-speed rail links uses Japanese technology to connect Mumbai to the country's financial hub with the industrial city of Ahmedabad. Japan is helping to foot a big part of this bill. It is providing 80% of the funding for the $17 billion project. And during his visit, Mr. Abe is also expected to get a decision from India over the purchase of Japanese amphibious aircrafts. Earlier, I asked Rubak Bora from the National University of Singapore whether Mr. Abe is using Shinkansen diplomacy to build closer relations. India has been looking to upgrade its railway technology and the railway infrastructure because uh, it's very old. It's a colonial era legacy from the British times. And recently there have been a spate of accidents as well in India. So it's a whole new kind of a technology that India is uh, acquiring. And it's not only a technology, it's a change in mindset uh, for India as well to be adopting this kind of Shinkansen technology. And uh, Mr. Bora, the Japanese are also happy to see their high technology in India because there's also a lot of competition taking place right now with the Chinese and Koreans yeah. spreading their wings yeah. around the region. I think for the Japanese, it's a big deal. It's a big, uh, uh, I think, get a getaway for Japan because it lost out to chi to a Chinese-led consortium in Indonesia when they were building the highway, the uh, the high-speed rail corridor between Jakarta and Bandung. So they see uh, these uh, the export of Shinkansen to India as a kind of a first step towards taking the Shinkansen technology to other countries in the world, especially in Asia. It's a massive project, but it yeah. will also take many years yes. uh, to develop this uh, bullet train project. Yeah. Yeah. But will it help yeah. economic prosperity in India going forward? I think there are a lot of takeaways from India for India from this uh, project on the economic sphere. First of all, it create a whole lot of new jobs for India. and. Uh, Mumbai is the India's financial capital and Ahmedabad in Gujarat is a very big industrial city. So this is, I think, uh, expected to spur development in the western part of India. And there are some other Japanese projects like the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, the dedicated freight corridor, which will also come up in the western part of India. So all this is a part of a package that Japan is uh, putting up for the development of uh, western India. And let's take now with the theme of trade.